So today we're going to talk about uh, note of protest. Uh, what is it used for? Uh, how is it lodged? And I'll also show you an example of how it is all written up. Um, so this is in the topic of uh, maritime law. So if you are preparing for the subject of maritime law, this will be a useful video for you guys. So a note of protest is basically a solemn declaration which is made on oath by a ship's master. Uh, that circumstances beyond his or her control have or may have given rise to uh, some kind of a loss and or damage to the ship or cargo or have caused him to take action uh, such as leaving an unsafe port which may have rendered his owners liable to be taken action by another party. So um, this note of protest, uh, it helps in resisting cargo loss or damage claim on the ship owners so this is to protect the ship owners legally uh, especially when circumstances uh, led to the uh, rise of loss or damage to the ship or cargo which are beyond the control of the master of course a protest without an extension is a simple statement of fact without added details uh, we'll also talk about the extension of the note of protest today and what it is and what is the importance of extension of motors protest so in what circumstances uh, does a master not protest well after every case of general average so if you don't know what general average is uh, you should have been watching you can watch my video on general average general average is basically an act of sacrifice uh, made uh, towards uh, the saving the ship or the life or cargo for example uh, jettisoning of cargo or letting go of the cargo intentionally to save the ship uh, comes, comes under the general average act um, another circumstance where the note of protest may be lodged is if wind and sea conditions or weather conditions that have been encountered by the vessel may have led to the damage of cargo or caused uh, failure in the ship's engines or damaged the rudder or steering gear uh, because of which the ship got delayed and could not make up to a cancelling date so it could not make it to the next port in time uh, if the cargo has been shipped in a condition which is likely to deteriorate during the forthcoming voyage, uh, then also the master must not protest because sometimes the shippers pressurize or not pressurize but uh, for commercial reasons the cargo has to be shipped to the next port. But the cargo may be uh, already in a, uh, a condition that may deteriorate. So I'll give you an example here. So for example, if you are carrying fruits in a for ship, so fruits uh, if they are already in an advanced stage of ripening, it is likely that uh, during the voyage it will ripen further and may uh, rot or become over ripened. Uh, so in that case also the master will lodge a note of protest. Uh, in this circumstance, uh, make sure the master or the chief officer also uh, puts a clause in the bill of lading uh, after consulting the shipper and the B&I club. So the bill of lading may also have a remark about the cargo condition. Uh, a note of protest is also lodged if the ship has been damaged from any cause which were beyond the control of the master or a serious breach of the charter party by the charter itself or their agents. For example, if there have been undue delays on their part or a refusal to load or refusal to pay, uh, demurrage, refusal to accept the clause of uh, clause to bill of lading or sending vessel to unsafe ports, etc. Also, other circumstances could be where uh, a protest should always be noted within 24 hours of arrival. And if it's connected with the cargo, it should be noted before breaking the bulk. Uh, if more than one discharge port is involved, then ask the agent if it's necessary to note a separate protest at each port or whether uh, one protest would be sufficient for the subsequent ports. Uh, the procedure for noting the protest is that uh, the protest is noted before a notary public or an authorized lawyer or a magistrate. It could also be lodged in a register of protest uh, which may be produced in court. So the register of protest is maintained by the master and he or she may stamp the entries and then uh, keep that in evidence and then produce it later in court. Uh, the master should go to the notary public office accompanied by a witness, if possible more than one witness, especially from the crew uh, and the officers having knowledge of facts. Uh, he should also take relevant information regarding the case like entries of the official logbook, deck logbook, weather reports, photographic evidence, witness statements, so on and so forth. 
uh, obtain three copies of the protest. So two is for the owner and one is for the ship's master. Ship's copy. Uh, now we talk about extending the note of protest. Now at the time of making the original protest, it is necessary to reserve the right to extend the protest at a time and place convenient. Now why this has been uh, highlighted is because this sentence is included in the original note of protest. Uh, because uh, it is often not possible to fully ascertain the extent of loss or damage that the ship or the cargo has suffered at the time of noting protest. And uh, lodging an extended protest should be made when the relevant facts are known fully. Example, when a surveyor's report is out. So basically, extended protest documents are required by a general average adjuster for preparing a general average statement. The extended protest need not be made in the same place as the original protest. Uh, you have to follow the local laws regarding time limits or contents. The extension is entered, witnessed, signed and sealed in the same manner as the initial protest. So basically the note of protest, uh, the original note of protest, if extended, protects the master if later on it is found that uh, the damage uh, sustained by the ship uh, during the weather, severe weather conditions or conditions which are beyond the control of the master extended to other areas which were not known to the master or the ship's officers at that point of time. Uh, here is an example to show you how the note of protest is normally written. So for example, you can see it is written as uh, on this day, for example, 21st of August 2019 before me, uh, where the name of the notary or the lawyer comes in, uh, or the city, the country, uh, where the lawyers or the magistrates are based, and duly admitted and so on, personally appeared, then put in the captain's name, name of the ship, port of registry, official number, gross tonnage, which sailed from port on so and so date with a cargo of timber and therewith to arrive port on the arrival port date. And then it is declared that this vessel at various time on passage and met very rough seas and swells, pitched and rolled, shipped spray and water and encountered heavy rain and fearing that damage and loss may have been sustained by the said cargo during the said voyage, he thus enters a note of his protest against all losses, damage, etc to be extended the same at a time and place convenient and then it is signed by both the notary or the magistrate as well as the master stamped dated and a copy provided to the master and uh, original copy goes to the ship ship owners uh, and because that protects them from any kind of liabilities or claim of liabilities from third parties so that was pretty much it about the note of protest make sure that you read up about this and are familiarized with it especially if you're going for your master's orals you are expected to know about this topic Thanks guys. Bye.